Alright, hey everyone. Um, so recently Twitch announced something that has a pretty big impact on most streamers. That is the fact that they are now using their content copyright ID system or a copyright content ID system on Twitch VODs and who knows what else after that. So with this news, I decided to make this tutorial because uh, using this program, Virtual Audio Cable, you will still be able to listen to music while you stream, but the stream won't be able to hear it. Therefore, bypassing any content, copyright, garbage that you need to worry about. So, what you'll need for this is just this simple program called Virtual Audio Cable, and that's about it. So, when you install and get Virtual Audio Cable all nice and neat, you're going to want to open this EXE right here. This is the control panel, and under here, all you want to do is set your cables to 3, hit set, and exit. Now, I'm not sure if you need to restart here. Uh, I've already got my settings all set up, just for the sake of, you know, ease. But if you have to restart after doing that, then go ahead and do that. But otherwise, if it worked, you should be able to see three things in here. The line 1, 2, and 3. So now decide which line you're going to want your game audio to be coming through. What you're going to do there is right click it, set as default, and set as default communication. You're going to want to click both of those. So I did that for line 2 already, as you can see it's a default device. So I'm going to hit OK there. Now, you're going to want to open up both audio repeaters here. You're going to need two. And what you're going to want to do is set one to line 2, set the other to line 3, and have them both output to your speakers. Now, as I said before, line 2 is going to be the game feed. So we want this to be to have no delay. So what we're going to do is set the total buffer to about 100. 50 would be the least amount of delay, but the audio quality would be terrible. 100, I notice almost no delay, and it's totally playable for someone like a speedrunner or someone who really needs their audio to be one-to-one. -one. So for the other, line 3, you're going to want to set the buffer a little bit higher, because the higher the buffer, the more quality you're going to get out of your sound. I also like to set the bits per sample to 32, and that should give you some nice, crisp, clear audio for your music. So once that's all set up, <coughs> let's go into our streaming program of choice. For me, it's OBS. Go under Settings and Audio, and as you can see, under the Desktop Audio Device, you're going to want whichever line you decided will be your game audio line. So for me, it's line 2, and what this will do is anything that defaults the sound to the default communication device, which in this case is line 2, is going to be streamed. So that means what we need to do is set the one thing that we don't want to be heard, or multiple things, you know, if you want to do multiple things with this, then just open more audio repeaters and set them to different lines, but in this case we only want one thing, and that's the music player. So what we're going to do with our music player, and again, I only know how this works with FUBAR, sadly, I don't know how it works with more common players like iTunes or, or web-based uh, radio systems like Pandora. I'm not quite sure how to do that with this, but for sorry, music player clients, this should work just fine. So under FUBAR you go to output under playback and set your device to line 3. Now what this will do is you will hear line 3 and line 2. The stream will only hear, as we can see in here, line 2. So for a program like Amarek, which most speedrunners use, you'll be able to hear the Wii sounds but you won't be able to hear, of course, after, after we hit start. You'll be able to hear the Wii sounds, but you won't be able to hear the music that I'm playing right now. So I'm playing this music. As you can see, the bar is scrolling, but the stream can't hear it. So hopefully this solves your issues with Twitch at the moment. And hopefully this is only a permanent, or a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Hopefully this is not a permanent solution. Hopefully... This all blows over, and this won't need it be needed for every single stream. So, yeah, hope this helped you out. And happy broadcasting.